Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be going through the process of creating a scalable dialogue system in Unity with the Iron Spinner. I'll also be showing you how to add voiceover to your characters. So this is the demo scene I'll be using. The cat model is from Scythe on Sketchfab. I'll leave a link to their Sketchfab in the description along with the Yarn Spinner documentation. So let's get started. First, we'll need to add Yarn Spinner to our project. To do this, go to File, Project Settings, Package Manager, then input this information. Then go to Window, Package Manager, and change the packages drop down to My Registries. Find Yarn Spinner and click Install. Yarn Spinner comes with some great samples, which give you a good idea of how Yarn Spinner can be used in different scenarios. This project is similar to the space sample, so if you get stuck in this tutorial, install the space sample and have a look around. Back in the project, find Yarn Spinner prefabs and drag the dialog system prefab into your hierarchy. Import TMP Essentials and create a new folder in your assets. Then create a new yarn project by right clicking in your project and going to create yarn spinner yarn project. This is what you'll use to store all your scripts. Then create a yarn script and name it after your character. Drag the yarn script into the source scripts of your yarn project and click apply. Next, we'll open up the Yarn script with Visual Studio Code. So let's install the extension in Visual Studio Code. Go to your Extensions tab and search for Yarn Spinner. Then click Install and click Trust. Now we have our script for our character, we can begin writing his dialogue. Yarn Spinner is super easy to understand, and you can have a back and forth dialogue working in a few minutes. This is the script I created that has a simple introduction from our character. The title of each dialogue is called a node, and you can have multiple nodes in a single yarn script. In this example, we're giving the player an option for what to respond with. The arrow indicates a player option. We'll be improving this script in a minute, but this is the most basic form of a yarn script. If you want to learn more about how to write with yarn, refer to the documentation, as it covers a lot more of what yarn can do. So let's see this working. Back to the code, there are some improvements to be made if in the future we want to scale up. Indenting after each option to give further options can become difficult to read, so we can split the node up into several nodes. This can allow for more branching dialogues. We we'll use the jump command which allows us to jump to a different node with each option. You just add the jump command with the title of the node you want to jump to, so choosing the first option here will jump to the positive response node. At the moment the dialogue starts automatically, so before adding the voiceover, I'll add a script which triggers the dialogue with a simple raycast and button input. It calls the PudgyCat node inside the PudgyCat yarn script. You can change the string inside the start dialogue function to match your starting node. Next, let's add a voiceover. 
I've quickly recorded the voice lines for the cats and added them to a new folder called EN for English. The Yarn Spinner documentation goes into detail about adding localization to your dialogue, but I'll just be covering the implementation of voiceovers here. So add the language of your voiceovers in the language ID section of your Yarn project and add the voice line folder to the localization assets folder. Now open up your yarn script and add hashtag line colon with the name of the audio clip you want to play. Next, create an empty game object, add the voice overview component and the audio line provider component. Drag the voiceover game object into the line provider and dialog view of the dialog runner in the dialog system. Then hit play. The voiceover should play with the corresponding line. I'm feeling quite famished. How about you go get me some food, eh? Crazy, right? But hey, we're talking now. So how about you go get me some food? Hmm? Let's talk about my hunger. I'm I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. I've only been using Yarn Spinner for a few days and couldn't find many videos for it, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial for other designers using Unity.